Hey, I'm welcome to everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a preview to our Reading Royals taking on the Newfoundland Growlers today as they get set to take on the Growlers, who they beat in each of their last three matchups, of course, coming in hot against the Newfoundland Growlers, beating them 9-2 to two in Newfoundland, 4-3, to three, and 5-1 to one in Newfoundland up there, <coughs> excuse me, on the island of Canada. Also, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy use widget to help us grow to 200 by the end of February. Well, our Royals haven't been playing as good of hockey in the last two. Didn't get helped out. Yes, I saw on the fan group people really coming at the refs yesterday. They were not the best, obviously, but the Royals, too, could have scored more in the power play and yada, yada, yada. They had opportunities, only scored once on the Gooch goal. Both teams both only had one power play goal. Hallsinger did have his right at the power play, so again, how you want to look at that. But <clears throat> when push comes to stuff, coaches and players are never going to blame the refs. Always going to say, we could have did X, Y, and Z. They still figure out a way. Um, But they lost against Trovervia 10-4, to and we lost yesterday in a very tough battle, 5-3, to to the Wheeling Nailers, two top 10 teams. Now it's the two top teams of the division. Facing each other is Reddings coming in hot as a firecracker against the Newfoundland Growlers, even though they have been a little bit tempered in play the last two games. So this is a game, if you look at it that way, maybe it's the game that's perfect for them to bounce back, even though it's a great high-level opponent in Newfoundland because the Royals have been playing them well and beat them in three on the road. Now they get them in Satande Arena against the very good Newfoundland Growlers um, that have... <coughs> that are right behind our Reading Royals in the standing. So in order to play this game, the Royals yesterday, they were able to get going a little bit more early, have more offense and, and so on and so forth. You want to, against Newfoundland, uh, be able to score the first goal. We're now in the league standing after losing yesterday. The standings updated to Jacksonville being in second in the league, Toledo being in first, Reading being in third, and guess who in fourth? The Newfoundland Growlers. Um where when it comes to the Growlers, they've allowed 133 goals, or they've scored 133 goals, allowed 107. They have two overtime um, wins and three overtime losses. Uh, they only have, their power play is 36 for 147. Their penalty kill is 121 for 143. So obviously that's been good there. And then when we put it in the team comparison against uh, Redding, goals scored, Redding scored a bit more at 142 to 133. Shootouts, they're one to nothing. Short handed goals. <coughs> excuse me. Nine to two in favor of Newfoundland. And power play percentage is twenty five to twenty five. Their penalty kills all the way up at eighty five. Reddings is at a solid seventy nine percent. So both teams, similar to the Wheeling Nailers, are really, really Solid on both ends of the puck, obviously, and uh, bring the ante up on the offense with the best of them as well. Where for Newfoundland, the, the keyest pieces you have to watch are the Zach O'Brien, Gordy Green, who's already had success against the uh, Royals. Same with Marcus Power, and then Sintanjo on defense. You obviously have to watch Kapchik, Hoffemeyer, <clears throat> and Peter Petra Nero. Excuse me. And then in net, it'll either be between Petrozelli, who's played 15, or Cormier, who's played 19 games. Two good net minders. The Royals will either have Hayden Hockey, who won yesterday, or Hayden Levine, one of the two Haydens in net for them, as they try to reclaim victory and get back in the win column against the Newfoundland Grower, as well as with, of course, Braden Lowe's of the World Back, who I thought had a pretty good game yesterday, had a couple chances, and also having Mason Millman back down there, Brad Morrison. So you have... Uh, the guys are all coming back at the right time, let's just phrase it. That way, as they go to take on the Newfoundland Growlers, after losing a couple in a row, had a very good game, though, yesterday that kind of just faltered. Yes, the reps were part of it, but, yeah, I'm not going to blame that as the main reason because players will never, or coaches will never do that. But, again, I would say they played a B game yesterday. They just happened to lose. Shit happens, like Kirk McDonald says sometimes. So now it's about coming in and finding a way to beat the Newfoundland Growlers today. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the game, and go Royals.